County's new anti-gang task force just met for the first time. It was launched after 11 people were injured in a drive-by shooting in Lakeland, two of them critically. Detectives have arrested four suspects. Another died when he crashed into a building during a pursuit. Fox 13's Ken Suarez is live at the Lakeland Police Department with the story of another mass shooting that remains unsolved two years later. Ken. You know, really a situation that is terrible anytime there is any kind of a shooting, no less a mass shooting. I'm going to ask you to do me a favor, and that is put yourself in the shoes of the family I'm going to tell you about. They are frustrated. They're angry after four members of their family shot, one fatally, the matriarch of the family, and still, as you said, several years after the fact, still no arrests. For the Lamonts family, the holiday will never be the same. That feeling that we get every Christmas is now gone. Because their matriarch, Maybell Cooper, was killed in cold blood on Christmas Eve. Never in a million years would I think my mother would, my mother's life would be ended by gun violence. Two years ago, Shawanda Lamone's 15-year-old son went to Simpson Park to buy an iPhone. Instead, she says he was held up at gunpoint. When she got here with her own gun, she got the gun away from the other teen and took it home. My son Ted begins to tell me he's part of a gang and he's they're going to come back to try to get revenge. Minutes later, several vehicles showed up at their home and bullets began to fly. Her mom was killed. Her 13-year-old daughter was hit. She was hit. So was her husband. Never think something like this would happen to you and your family. I really was scared that it was going to have to amputate my arm. Lakeland police say they're looking for two suspects, but have not made any arrests. In a written statement, a spokeswoman says it's an open and active investigation. They've gotten numerous leads, but cannot confirm it's gang related. Gang related or not, Shawanda still has nightmares about what could still happen. My children go out, I'm constantly worrying about if they're going to be okay because nobody's been incarcerated. For a mass shooting that took the life of an older woman and forever changed three others. In Lakeland, Ken Suarez, Fox 13 News. So Heartland Crime Stoppers is offering a $5,000 reward as it usually does in these kind of cases. So far, that reward has not been claimed. Oh, that family has been through so much. You know, it shouldn't take $5,000 to get somebody to do the right thing, but uh, hopefully in this case, it adds a little extra encouragement for, for someone to speak up. Ken, thank you.